Hello and welcome to Anjiru Space. I am Wanjiru Mungai. The other day someone asked me, Wanjiru, why do women forget themselves after they give birth? And I thought to myself, this is a chance for a new topic. And so today we shall be talking about how motherhood changes us. Motherhood does not only mean to those women who've given birth, no. You are a mother if you have adopted a child. You are a mother if you are raising somebody else's child. It could be a relative's child, a friend's child, and even those people who take care of children in children's homes. We are all mothers. And I think if you ask those women Motherhood is the most beautiful experience of a lifetime. I know we do a lot of things to actualize, but if you asked me, motherhood gives you joy like no other. You actually can't describe that joy. It is deep. The satisfaction you get from being a mother, again, it's big very fulfilling so we must first agree we do not forget ourselves but things happen that can make other people who've never been mothers and men who will never be mothers who will not understand that you may look like you're forgetting yourself while you're not did you know that being a mother can sometimes make you lose your identity. Why do I say this? Because when you're a mother, you have to juggle between so many things. Think about it. Of course, the first thing is you're taking care of somebody else who fully, 100% depends on you. That little human cannot do anything without you. So when you talk about motherhood, especially to an infant, without having to go into details, a lot happens that can make you lose yourself, lose your mind sometimes. It is so overwhelming and suffocating sometimes. For example, no one tells you about the sleep part. They don't tell you that this baby does not give you a warning that Mom, between 2 o'clock and 4 o'clock in the night, I'll be awake. They don't tell you, I will be crying for the next 12 hours at intervals of 3 hours. They don't tell you that. Nobody gives you that warning. And that is why sometimes when you have no support, if you're married from your spouse, and for the others, anybody, it could be a sibling who gives you that support. It could be a friend. If you lack that support, some women go into postpartum depression. So it's not like they forget themselves. Things just happen, they get overwhelmed, and they find themselves looking like they are not taking care of themselves. But they are trying their very best Again, why do I say we lose identity? Even as they, as they get older, at one time you are a nurse. At another time you are a driver or chauffeur. Another time you are the errand person in that home or you have no one to send. Another time you are a teacher. You are a counselor. You are everything to this baby at no cost. But your satisfaction takes away all that feeling of like you're not being appreciated. So you want to maintain that joy of being a mother. You start to reminisce on the good old days when what used to happen, you cooked at will. You ate what you wanted. You watched what you wanted on your TV. 
you read books that made you very happy because why you had all the time you went out with your friends if you're saved you went to the cashers you went for dinners you went dancing i mean anything all the young people do you did all that but now your freedom is curtailed because you have to look after that baby whenever you want to think about something that even that invite to lunch you have to consider okay when does my baby need me and so sometimes you may not go and even when they are older you are thinking somebody just invited me for something but those hours i have to also think uh, that is the pick up time for that child so you realize before you do anything you consider the other person the little one first and the others in the family so your needs come last and you put everybody everybody else's needs in front of yours and so these are the things we are talking about it's not like we forget ourselves but the demands of the children come before your needs motherhood can be so exhausting even as they get older think about those mornings mommy where is my pencil mommy i can't find my ruler where is my bag my socks my what my this my that and imagine only you can find those things sometimes they are just right there but they are not trained to see them we think mommy has all the answers and sometimes you have to get those answers if not always so those things will make you forget your look sometimes so yeah that person had observed that sometimes we look different we look like we are not taking care of ourselves how we dress our grooming changes completely sometimes for some but you know what you will not stop being a mother but again you cannot allow yourself to be defined by motherhood your whole life are there some things we can do to help ourselves rediscover ourselves yes we can start by setting some simple goals you know just to make ourselves a little happier not that we are not happy motherhood we said is beautiful but if there are things that you still remember you used to love a lot things that you miss write them down and start doing them all over again we are not going to stop going to our jobs whether we are in business or in employment because we have become mothers so we are going to do the two together and we are going to excel at both so that calls for a lot of commitment it's hard work it is not easy you may want to just do things that you used to love and don't feel guilty about it do things that make you know do things that make you very happy another one you can do for yourself schedule some alone time be selfish a little that will enable you to re-energize because remember all these chores zap your energy completely so you need to rejuvenate and you can do that by taking that time by yourself even away from that little one they will survive now take care of your physical needs as in how you look if you feel you do not have time to leave the baby maybe you have a baby who is very demanding some babies are criers and they don't warn you like we said earlier and you cannot like leave them for some time 
and maybe this is between the first six months and you can't even feed them anything else, then you can organize with somebody from the salon to come home. They'll do your hair, they'll do your nails, they'll do a facial if you want it. And then you'll be well groomed because dressing, I mean, I know we've changed. And for those people who may not understand, pregnancy changes you because of the hormones. So you may be from a size 12 to a 16. And I heard that somebody wanted to leave their wife because of looking big all of a sudden. It happens. And maybe you are leaving that one and the one you go to will be from 12 to 18. Who just this idea, Sana? But there is something you can do about your body if you think you're not comfortable looking bigger. Because I don't think any of us remains truly the same. People may not see it because they are not very close to you here, but everybody's body changes a little. Even for those that look like they just snapped back, mm -mm, there is some change. So dress your body according to the new shape or the new size and let's not body shame young mothers especially they've done a good job of bringing a newborn a human to us appreciate them instead don't forget your commitments like your appointments with your doctors you may be going to a dental appointment even your guy night because it doesn't stop at giving birth keep those appointments eat right because remember again the little one depends a hundred percent on you so for you to bring up a healthy baby you have to be healthy mentally and physically this is a time to connect with your spouse if you're married and friends and family do not isolate yourself because of the baby you need their support especially this time but again i know we like to go and see the newborn soon after the mama leaves the hospital give them a break for heaven's sake they need that time we call it labor she needs to rest from that labor so she needs some time to herself but if you're coming to help yeah there's a lot you can do the kitchen laundry you know, keep her company as she eats. Even, you know, look after the baby as she takes the shower or something like that. That is most welcome. But for the rest of us, we can give her some time. And it, it, that one is individual. Some people think three weeks is too little or too short. Others think even three months is not enough. They need that break. If they do so, then just grant them their wish because they need to rest. It's something very important again. Stop comparing yourself today and the past you. Because you know what? We've just talked about the sizes change. So you may be there thinking, huh, you should have seen me. I was a 12. Actually, I think I was a 10. And now look at me. Mm -hmm. That will give you some anxiety. You'll start thinking, I am no longer beautiful. What will that do to you? It will affect your confidence, even your self-esteem. So don't go there. Don't live in the past. Let us live in the present. You brought up, you brought about somebody beautiful. That sacrifice that mothers make for others, another human. So you are so selfless for the sake of this person. What can beat that? It's wonderful. And I think we should pat our backs for it. So really, motherhood is a beautiful time. We shall not forget ourselves. We shall be well-groomed. We shall go on with our careers, whatever it is that we do. And even for that mother who sometimes gives up her career to take care of, the little ones because we have women who do that 
we should commend them for that sacrifice because yeah babies grow up they get back to their jobs business employment whatever so if you have someone who supports you to do that you're doing great in your motherhood one thing that really really helps a new mom or even the, the ones with older children is getting help paid help some are lucky to just have relatives live with them but even for that one who does not have somebody who is related to them to live with them consider hiring somebody it could be a day bag or a living they can take off some of these burdens off your back so that you can be a more effective mother let us continue reminding ourselves that we are not super women you are not a super woman you're just a mother doing the best and being the best you can ever be to your child so the mothers out there i respect you and you're doing a great job thank you i'll stop here and ask you to subscribe to anjiro space to hit the notification bell and to leave a comment i would love to hear the comments on this one from mothers themselves from fathers and even children who've been raised by these ladies thank you very much for watching this video until the next one goodbye